This is a video on how to remove rust off of uh, steel components using white vinegar. I'm sure you guys have seen other videos on YouTube and elsewhere about the effectiveness of white vinegar on removing rust. And uh, until I did it, I really didn't realize how good of a uh, process it was. Well, anyway, what i am uh, got going on right here is a set of cross drilled rotors that I actually found at the salvage yard. These are uh, for a Lincoln LS. And I was getting a fender off one of the cars out there when their uh, LKQ is 40% off sale. And I happened to see these uh, cross drilled rotors on a car I was taking. And uh, so I thought, well, man, I'll go ahead and pick these up for pretty cheap. And I've actually ran this already through white vinegar, but it flash rusted again. So I just want to demonstrate on how to do it. But uh, originally, these disc brakes looked like they had sat under a uh, sunken ship. That's how rusty they were. Of course, they were left out in the elements. So anyway. I've got an oil pan here, an oil drain pan, and uh, I've got the disc, and I've got the white vinegar. I just go ahead and pour that until that uh, disc is completely submerged. Actually, I wish I would have showed you guys how it looked the first time because, man, it was really rusty. But uh, this would be a good demonstration of what's going on here. Usually if you give this stuff about an hour, hour and a half, it'll boil off the rust to literally, you don't have to sand it or anything. You just take your fingers, a rag, whatever, and you can literally wipe it off. And just to show you the effectiveness on something that's extremely rusty, I have this uh, water pump bolt off a uh, Fox Body uh, 302. And I'm going to stick that in there too, and that's pretty rusted out for sure. And we'll come back and see how it's doing. Okay, this has been sitting for about an hour and a half and you can see that it's uh, definitely boiled off a lot of the rust. You can see the uh, gas bubbles coming through the uh, holes on the cross drilled rotor and uh, should clean up pretty quickly. As you can see right here, you can just take your finger and wipe off the rust, but uh, it's boiled a lot of that off. Now here's that water pump bolt from the uh, uh, 302 that I was telling you about. Now it's still pretty corroded, but uh, you can see a lot of the uh, silver has come back off. It's actually taken a lot of the rust off, but it would probably do good for have this probably sit overnight or whatever. Okay. Well, now that this has had its time in its bath, you can see that this is coming off pretty quickly. Drain that out a little bit. And then if you uh, take your rag or whatever or Scotch-Brite, the rust literally just wipes right off. So this will save you tons of time, like instead of having to sand or do the uh, electrolysis process, which works well, but uh, this is just so much faster. So you just literally wipe that rust off like if it was just dirt. And if uh, stuff is super rusty or you want to do another application, you could always just set that back in the uh, vinegar and let it set overnight if you needed to and uh, and it doesn't matter how rusty a lot of this stuff is that stuff will take it right off very quickly and yeah, stuff really nice to come off there So that gives you the basic idea. I highly recommend it. Looks like there's still a little bit right here that scratches off your finger. But uh, if you want to get rust off of just about anything that's uh, steel without having to really sandblast or anything like that, I highly recommend it. Anyway, thanks for watching.